so I've been doing a lot of shooting with the uh, Krebs KB-13. Many of you guys obviously have been asking about it, asking about what makes it so special, uh, what's so nice about it. Now, full review is coming up later on, guys. We're not quite done with it yet, but one thing I did want to cover in this video is the key mod rail system. The key mod is not unique to the KB-13. Um, basically, the design of it, uh, it was started by the guys over at Ultor or Beltor, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, they teamed up after that, after the development of it, with uh, John Nevesky, uh, the late John Nevesky, to produce uh, the first key mod rail. Many other companies have since uh, adopted it because they were nice enough, are uh, forward thinking enough, if you will, to go ahead and release the TDP to the public, which I'll roll in some videos at the end, uh, or some pictures at the end of it, so you guys can take a look at it, those of you guys that are visual learners. But what I'm going to do now is we're just going to get a close up of this. I'm going to show you how the key mod system works, uh, show you actually installing rails, taking them off, how they re zero, things like that. And then I will also um, try to explain some of the benefits, at least try to. But uh, that's what's coming up next, guys. The system is basically composed of two pieces. Obviously, we have our uh, key mod nut here, which we have three of them on this rail section. And then the key mod slot. It may look familiar for those of you guys that have seen uh, modular shelving. It essentially looks the same, but there are some key differences that help out with the uh, application on a firearm. Essentially, one of them is going to be the inside here on the key mod slot there's a 270 degree uh, angle milled into it. I'm going to go ahead and roll in a picture here because it will show up better than anything I'll ever be able to show here on a camera, on a video camera I should say. But that angle interfaces with the key mod nut angle and I'm going to try to push this forward so you guys can see it. But essentially it, it interfaces with the angle right there that's built into the key mod nut. Now another thing that's nice about this is that with the key mod system the screws are staked in place so that way Basically when you loosen it, you just loosen it out until you feel tension and you're done. So that way you're not going to end up worrying about losing your screws or anything like that if you're doing a uh, quick change there. But So that angle interfaces with that angle, which as you see here on this Noveski rail that I'm using, it does uh, say towards the front and the reason it's like that is so that way it interfaces correctly and locks up snug. Also there's the recoil lugs that uh, lock in there so that way if you have a heavy recoiling gun it's not going to lose its zero. Um, obviously, because of the design as well, the way they mate together, you're going to have almost no, none, I should say, if any loss of zero when you actually take it off and remount it. So basically, all you do is line these slots up here, the big the big holes with the, with the nuts, like that. Once you get it lined up, you just go ahead and uh, slide it forward, and it's nice and snug in there. And you go ahead and screw these down. So to tighten it up and once it's snug with all three positions or whatever it is obviously there's different length uh, rails you can use on there it's good to go it's locked in place and you can see how it comes out there on the back side I don't know if you guys can actually see that but I'll roll in a picture of that as well how those uh, lugs are interfacing with the angle and to remove it is equally as simple you just unscrew it Again, until you feel that tension from where those screws are staked into place. And it slides right off, and that's it. And remounting it is just as, just as easy. Um, now, this is, uh, this is not designed to replace the 1913 style Picatinny rail, the key mod system, I should say. It's designed to augment it. Um, obviously, for those of you guys that have other rail systems, like for instance, you guys have seen me use the Troy rail on my ARs a lot. Um, with those, you have to kind of like hold a nut behind it while you're screwing in your uh, rail sections. Kind of annoying, not impossible, not horrible or anything like that, but having a system like this that allows you to just mount from the outside, take off, remove, replace, etc., is very convenient. There's no getting around it. So that's it guys, that's the Keymod rail system in a nutshell, quick and dirty. A very simple design, yet ingenious, and I found that it does work very well. Um, do you need it? No. But I do think more and more companies are going to continue to offer products with Keymod accessories. Uh, not just in the rails, but accessories that mount straight into the Keymod system. I think that's kind of the next step. We're starting to see it out there, and I think it's going to become more and more popular. Uh, just an evolution in the weapons design. Um, I remember back in the day when I first joined the military, we were duct taping mag lights to our handguards. Um, obviously, we've come a long way since then, and I think the uh, this is just a continuation in that process. A great product, a great idea, I should say, and um, I think we're going to see more and more of it. 
But uh, if you guys have any questions about this video, anything else I discuss here on this channel, you can feel free to post below in the comment section. If you guys don't have a YouTube account, I urge you to get one so that way you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But if you don't want to do that, you can always post it over at my Facebook page as well. I try to answer questions over there as well. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.